use the information, use the given information to make a logical conclusion if possible. If a logical conclusion is not possible, choose no logical conclusion possible. All right, so let's see what they tell us. So the statement is, if I go to practice today, then I will play in the game tomorrow. So if I go, this statement is saying, look, if I go to practice today, then I'm definitely going to play in the game tomorrow. And then they say, I will not play in the game tomorrow. Well, I just said that if I go to practice today, I'm going to play in that game. And I just said, I'm not playing in that game. So I must not be going to practice today. Because if, if, if I went, I would play. So I did not go to practice. So that, let's do a couple more of these. You, okay, so the same, same instructions. If William misses the bus, then he will be late for school. William is late for school. So let's think about this a little bit. If William misses the bus, then he will be late for school. William is late for school. So missing the bus is one way that you could be late for school. But he might have not missed the bus. He might have, he might have uh, caught the bus, but then didn't, didn't you know, kind of sat in the bus once he got to school. So missing the bus is one of the ways that he, has, he could be late for school. But it's not the only way he could be late for school. They just say, if he misses the bus, then he is late for school. Now, if they said he is not late for school, then you know that he didn't miss the bus. Because if he did, he would, he would have been late. But there's many ways to be late, not just missing the bus. So we don't know for a fact that William definitely missed the bus. Let's do a few more of these. If a ray bisects an angle, so split that angle in two, then it creates two congruent angles. All right? If there are two congruent angles, then the two angles have the same measure. All right? So this, this one's a little bit more hairy. So let's see. If a ray bisects an angle, then it creates two congruent angles. Yep. OK, I can, I can buy that. In fact, that is definitely true. If there are two congruent angles, then the two angles have the same measure. OK, I can buy that as well. If a ray bisects an angle, then the two angles have the same measure. So let's see. So this first sentence says, if a ray bisects an angle, then it creates two congruent angles. But then the next one says, if there are two congruent angles, then the two angles have the same measure. So if a ray bisects an angle, there's two congruent angles, which, by, which the next sentence tells us that, though they, that the two angles have the same measure. And that's the statement here. If a ray bisects an angle, then the two angles have the same measure. And you might say, wait, wait, how is this you know, different? Look, in the first sentence, it says the, the ray bisecting an angle creates two congruent angles. So we don't know yet what congruent angle means. The next sentence says, if, if there are two congruent angles, then the two angles have the same measure. So the second sentence lets us know that two congruent angles must have the same measure. So now we can kind of merge these two together to say, if a ray bisects an angle, then it creates two angles that have the same measure, which is this choice right over here.